Hi everyone, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I am joined by my mum and um, she's actually going to show us both how to draw or how to paint a flamingo. Um, make sure to go and check out her Instagram page at yours faithfully H Kirk uh, to find out what she's going to do next. Um, so without further ado, let's just get on with it. So we're going to be using um, a baby pink, a cotton candy pink, and true blue, sea breeze, um, lamp ebony black. and some snow titanium white so we're gonna I'm gonna try and show you what we're doing okay right okay so Emily first of all yes. on our palette we're going to um, just put our colors down okay I'm not quite sure how much we'll need, but... <clears throat> okay, so first of all, we're going to do the um, sky and the sea. Oops. So we're going to take our thick brushes. Okay, and what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to take um, some of this sea breeze and we're going to go from about um, two thirds of the way up and just do a fairly straight line all the way across. Okay, yep. and then we're just going to work all the way down, so we're going to need a lot more of this one. <laughs> we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to keep going all the way down to the bottom. If you go um, left to right, Emily, so just keep going left to right all the way down. And we're painting these um, on um, canvas board. Well done, Emily, you're doing really well. Thank you. Um, just keep going all the way down. That's excellent. Okay. So once you've got all of that on, we're just going to grab a little bit of the true blue. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into the top and do a line all across the horizon. Okay. And then you're just going to Grab a bit more of the true blue and just mix it in a little bit, just going left to right all the way down. Yeah. But you're just grabbing a little bit, gently blending it in. You probably want to do this quite quickly before the um, 
the paint dries underneath yeah otherwise you might need to just grab a little bit more of the um the sea breeze um to make it wet again what's that well done so keep doing that right can you see where it's starting to dry just along here so you need to yeah. um add in a bit of the um the lighter blue okay So to do that, you just um, put some of the sea breeze on top, then quickly grab that and then mix it in on top. Okay. So I'm just going to show mine. So this is what it will look like. You won't need too much of the true blue because um, what we're going to be using is the true blue for the sky. Okay. So it's just like um, creating the waves. Oh, okay. Adding a bit of texture to it. Yeah. Okay, does that look okay? Yep, that's excellent. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, just wipe off the excess of our brush. And we're gonna now we're gonna be using some of this true blue and the white. So we're gonna just mix that together a little bit. Just to um make a sort of nice sky colour. Alright, so what we're gonna do is if it helps you, you can turn it round. And this time we're just going to fill in the sky bit, going okay. right the way to that um, horizon line. Okay. This is a very nice colour of blue. Yeah, it's a lovely shade, isn't it? Yeah. And what you want to do is you want it a bit lighter where the horizon is. Yeah. And then darker as you're getting up further up the sky. Okay. That's looking excellent, Emily. Well done. Mm -hmm. And the same as with the sea, you go left to right. Yeah. You're doing really well. Thank you. So while you're just carrying on with that, I'm just going to show mine. Yep. That's how mine is looking at the moment. So I'm going to turn it the right way up. And I'm just going to add a bit of that true blue into the bottom there, just to make that a bit darker. There we go. What do you think? I think it looks really good so far. Good. Do you want to hold yours up? There we go. That's looking brilliant already, isn't it? Yes. Right, now, we're going to have to use the hairdryer. So, okay. um, where did I put it? Down here. Okay, so, the next bit. Um, Emily, can you get out a sheet of tracing paper, please? Yes. Here's one sheet. Okay. So, um, you just um, use the same bit as me. Okay. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to lay that on top of your um, painting. Okay. Just in the middle? Yep. Okay. Well, I don't know why, but I, I was expecting it to be wet when I just dried it. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do yep. is um, I've got this um, flamingo already, which is one that I use for one of my paint parties. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to draw around the outline, but I don't want you to draw past this line here. 
because okay. it's going to be in the water. Okay. Okay, so that's where the leg is going to be in the water. Okay. okay, so you do that. Yep. So this is quite a um, time consuming job, but mm -hmm. um, I think it will be okay. So while you're doing that, I will get the next paints ready. Okay. Do I need to do the eye as well? Yeah. So these two colours that we're using are Baby Pink um, and this is Deco Art and Cotton Candy and for this step we're going to take smaller paint brushes so I've got a few different types of small brush here that we'll be using um, I've got this half inch flat brush. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one is but it's a bit more rounded and then a thin um, liner brush that we'll use a bit later. Okay. Right I think that's all done. Okay so now if you lift that up. And the tracing paper? Yep. Oh. There we go. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now what I want you to do, Emily, is yes. I want you to um, take one of these brushes and yep. I want you to start filling it in with this um, lighter pink. Okay. okay, so that's the cotton candy one. Okay, the whole flamingo? Yeah. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I'll just um, do my bit of tracing. How's that going? Going really well. Are you enjoying it? Yes, I'm really enjoying it a lot. Do you find painting relaxing or stressful? Quite relaxing. Well, yeah, normally quite relaxing. Just like if I'm under a time limit, then it's quite stressful, but we mm -hmm. don't have a time limit today, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, the good thing about this is that it's quick and easy. Yeah, and I do recommend this for anyone who's watching this, really, because it's quite good for all they do. So, um, I'm now going to start, so I've traced mine on, and mine's looking like this now. So the, um, the good thing about this is that um, very quickly you get a really nice looking painting um, and um, it doesn't take too much to do um, and you can add as many details to it as you want. Um, if you need to use a smaller brush for any of the sort of thinner bits you can Emily. Okay, thank you. just really nice to spend some time with you today yeah <laughs> and um if you want to follow emily she's on um youtube as well she's got a youtube vid um youtube channel herself so i'll put the links to that as well I think we will end up being guests on each other's YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good, thank you. I'm really enjoying it. Good. So what we're doing is we're just filling in um, the flamingo and then we'll do um, the details on top. So this is almost like a base cut. Yeah. And we use the um, the lighter colour first because that will um, help go over the um, the background. Okay. I 
I don't know about when you do your videos, Emily, but um, when I do mine, I always think, oh, I should be talking, but I really need to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult keeping up the chatter. Yeah. But you don't want everyone to get bored. Yeah. <laughs> but I normally paint in silence, so <laughs> this is quite interesting for me. So, do you want to tell everyone um, what you do on YouTube? Yeah, sure. So, um, I do mostly how-to videos, but I also create um, playlists, um, like music playlists. Um, so far, I've got um, ones of like Disney films through the years, um, and a whole like Frozen playlist. Um, going on um, and I sometimes also do uh, well I'm planning to do a couple of vlogs and stuff um, and behind the scenes things that I do on YouTube as well for you to have a deeper look into it um, but yeah so far I've done a how to cooking video so where I make well where I show you guys how to make um, both chocolate and vanilla and marble cupcakes um, and I've also done... Uh, that was your first one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my first one. Um, I was quite proud of that, actually. Um, and I've also done a how to do a simple hair bun. Um, oh gosh. Um, and it's um, with a guest um, called Abigail, and she's my sister. Um, so, yeah, um, as I say, my mum will just leave a link to that in the dis um, like down below. Um, and... Yeah, you can check that out if you want. So you mentioned um, that you're, um, you do playlists and stuff. Yeah. And um, do you want to say what we're watching together at the moment? Yeah, well, <laughs> at the moment we're doing like a um, Disney-a-thon. So it's going from the very first Disney film like ever created. So it's um, Snow White, I must have got the name of it then. And um, we're just working our way up to the most recent one, which I think is actually Onward. Um, but it's only Disney Classics or Disney Pixar, which is still a lot, but yeah. <laughs> um, so we're on Cinderella currently. Um, well, that will so be our next one, won't it? Yes. The last one that we watched. Well, we actually got um, a bit um, mixed up, didn't we? We watched, um, was it? We watched Bambi first and yeah. then Dumbo. It was and... supposed to be Dumbo, then Bambi, but instead we watched Bambi, then Dumbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so um, we watched Dumbo last night and it was okay. I mean, we both <laughs> found it a bit sad in yeah. places, didn't we? Um, it wasn't my favourite growing up. I think me and my sister was really traumatized by it <laughs> so but it wasn't as bad as i remembered so joanna if you're watching you can now give it a go <laughs> what's your favorite disney film i'm just wondering if yeah let us know yeah. in the comments whether you've got a favorite disney film or uh, or character, Dis or character yeah. yeah or disney pixar yes I actually find that quite difficult to choose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I can't decide. I I really struggle to choose my favourites. But growing up my favourite um Disney um classic was um Sleeping Beauty. Um yeah. and um Ariel the Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. And I I'm not entirely sure that I'd be able to um, choose between the three of them. I yeah. think I find that really hard. Um, but now I really love Frozen. Yes. I might Wasn't lose <laughs> I might lose a few followers with that admission, but um, I don't care. I love Frozen. <laughs> I love Frozen 1 and 2, um, mainly because I can really relate to the characters so um with warm hugs yeah <laughs> i love olaf because he likes warm hugs and so do i and um i kind of i really get where um 
Elsa is coming from, like mm. with feeling a bit isolated or um, a bit of an outcast or yeah. and all of her anxiety and fear and stuff. I really identify with that. Um, and Anna as well. I really love Anna, how sort of she's kind of quirky and <laughs> fun and um, competitive. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just really love Frozen 1 yeah. and 2. Um, Frozen 2 is more romantic between Anna and Kristoff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, growing up, I think my favourite was either Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella, mainly because I had this Sleeping Beauty slash Cinderella dress, which you could, like, uh, turn inside out and it would turn into a different Disney princess dress, and I loved it. <laughs> okay, so how's yours coming along? This is mine Good. at the moment. I'm nearly finished, I'm just doing the head. So, basically, once we've um, done the base coat um, it's just a matter of um, filling it in a bit more and making it look more 3D so I'll show you how to do that in a minute once you've finished yeah so see so nearly done okay, Okay, right, so for this next bit, um, we're going to take, if I just sort of hold that up a, a bit and, um, and show you, um, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to get our darker pink and we're just going to um, sort of do C shapes on there to sort of build up the feathers. So I'll show you down here as well. So you're just going to be building that in. Okay. Okay. And then we'll also be getting um, a darker pink for the highlights. Okay. Um, well, the, the darker sort of areas. Yeah. And then... Oh, oh <laughs> Okay, try not to mix those. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got white, we've got a dark pink, we've got our two lighter pinks. And so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be building up, adding in the different colours. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let me show you how that's starting to look now as well. So for these... We're going to get the darker colours and the lighter colours all building up. How are you getting on? Good. Oh, I keep knocking that over. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not paint or anything, it's just a cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, my art studio is a bit small and we're both sort of cramped in here. And I'm left-handed and she's right-handed, so we keep <laughs> sort of bumping elbows. <laughs> so is this okay, the way I'm doing it? That. Yeah, um, if you kind of um, do sort of um, like on the edge like that, yeah, or using flat, so you can do oh, okay. it. You can either do it on the edge, but if you do it sort of flat, yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So then it starts to build up like this on the bits that would be um, covered by the sun so say if your sun or oh, hold up so say if your sun is here then the, the darker bits would be on this side 
if the sun is here then your darker bits would be on this side and um and also um this bit here is going to be darker because it's covered by the head um so this side emily will be um basically in shadow because you've got the oh, head oh yeah, yeah yeah okay and then so that, that bit will be quite light yeah okay got it And um, also, this leg is in front of that one. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so, so you'll need yeah. to paint over that bit. Okay. And also, this under bit of the flamingo, the uh, sort of belly bit, yeah. is going to be darker yeah. than this top bit. Oh wow, there's so many I didn't think about. So you can you can go over with um with the lighter colours afterwards. Okay. If you um if you try not to because you um can you see that it's looking a little bit flat? Yeah. If you try to um just do like lots of that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. And then you can fill do other yeah i realized i somehow stopped doing that mm -hmm. yeah. that's okay it's um it takes a bit of practice because you want to fill yeah. it in because you that's how your brain yeah. thinks that you should paint um but it's just one of the tricks is to sort of not fill it in as such but sort of do the the shorter strokes mm. like that yeah, that's better. Okay. It just makes it look a bit more 3D. Yeah. Um, if it's not painted quite yeah. so flat. Okay, so after a while, it will start to look something like this. And um, Emily, I'm going to go a step ahead of you yep. um, because um, we'll probably have to wrap this up quite soon and I don't want to rush you. Yeah, that's um, okay. So I'm just going to do the next step. Yep. Um, where did I put my thinner brush? Okay, so this is going to be quite tricky to show you guys um, because I'm left-handed and I'm sitting at the wrong angle. So basically, um, we're going to come along here and then we're going to go down the middle so it will look like a T. This is really hard <laughs> <laughs> at the wrong angle. And then we're going to go across here and up here. and up here and then this whole bit is going to be coloured in black. And if you need to steady yourself, use your pinky. That really helps to sort of steady it. Okay, so that's the beak. That's really good. Thank you. And then we're just going to do a circle for the eye. Like about there. And then I just um, finish it off with a few um, outlines with the, the liner brush okay 
so that's basically what it's going to look like eventually um, and um, let me know if you want to have um, step by step um, instructions for this one I can put that together um, and I can also um, put a tracer um, available so that you can paint this at home um, so let me know in the comments if you'd like that okay so that's about it for the black so I'm now going to find a another thin brush does that look okay yeah that's excellent that's coming along really nicely okay so I'm now going to get a little bit of the white and just down the bottom where the um, where the bottom of the leg is, just gonna put a few ripples like that. Okay, and we can also put some more highlights um, in other bits up the top. So there we go, there you have it, our flamingo is finished, well mine is, mm -hmm. Emily's still got a little bit of a way to go, okay, so if you do a line across Emily, there we go, excellent. How do you feel about that? It's really good. I'm just going to do the little details. There we go. Well done. Right, do you want to hold yours up? Yep. Excellent. Right, okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so let's both hold ours up. Let's see whether we can do this. There we go. Brilliant. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, I love doing this. <laughs> so good. Right, so we will say goodbye and we'll yeah. go and have some lunch. And yeah. then I think we're going to do some more fun things today together, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> so thank you. And we hope you enjoy watching it. Yeah, great. Um, and um, yeah, do post. Um, if you do this painting, please show me. Um, and also, um, if you are interested in um, any of my art tutorials, um, I will also put a link to that as well. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, take care and um, see you soon. Bye.